Hey, welcome back, Saltide Anglers. It's been a little bit. It's been a cold winter. Boring. I know I should have done some more stuff, but I just got some new uh, video equipment. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, I ordered a uh, kayak a couple weeks ago on a Friday night, late from Vibe. Shout out to my people at Vibe, Vibe Life. <clears throat> they, uh, they sent me the kayak the following Tuesday, really fast. There she is, sitting right there. She's drying out a little bit. So, a couple days back, two days ago, went out on the maiden voyage out in the back creek over here, right down the boat ramp, launched out, ran into a crazy storm. <laughs> Managed to make it in on shore on time, no problems. Uh, I'm a fish anyway, doesn't matter. Water's cold though, let me tell you. So then the next day, the day before yesterday, went out, <laughs> went out my uncle's place, launched out on the beach, down on the bay, got out in the bay, went out to the channel, Hooked into my uh, my first fish, so I got slime on her. Um, all's good, all's great. Um, I put together some video for y'all. Y'all can check it out. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, more to come. S stand by. Oh, fish on. Oh, there she is. Ready to go. We're gonna walk down the uh, community boat ramp and go out and see how she does. Just got a basic setup. Got a bucket. Yeah, got a bucket. Got some floats for my rods just in case. I got leashes in there. They end up not floating. Got my tackle. One on each side. I got a bunch in there. Got my GoPro ready. Another rod holder up here. My life vest is a must. Gonna be on me at all times. Got a paddle. Got a leash for my paddle so I don't lose that thing. I have to swim over and get it. Got my fish finder. All right, got my gauges. I'm riding at 13 strong. Inside there, got my battery box, power and everything. Got my little trolley strapped up. The thing works pretty good. Solid uh, rubber tires. That way I don't have to worry about pumping them up and they lose air. Got my scupper plugs on. I still need to find the plug for that thing. I looked in uh, Home Depot all like two hours yesterday, just up and down the aisle trying to find it. Couldn't find it. I will find it. Got my rudder all working right with the pedals. Um, back here in my dry storage, I got rain jacket, um, my wallet and stuff like that. I need to get a little dry bag for my wallet and keys. And I'm gonna throw some bottles of water in there. That's right, water for now. Yep, there she goes. Getting ready to head out. Wish me luck. All right, just came down the ramp. A little slick. This is where I'm gonna launch her. Right here on the Back Creek, Bodkin Creek. Let's see, uh, let's see how I do here. Kind of a incline here, or a decline, whatever. A little sketchy. I stopped it and this kept rolling. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I don't like the idea of dragging it on this. I don't know what other choice I have. Make sure 
We're gonna lose that. It'll be a heck of a time getting it back. You know what? I think I'm gonna put these down in. Plenty of storage in there. I mean, God. A sweatshirt in case I get rained on. I got a dry shirt to put on. Oh. About the strap, throw him in there too. Lock down, and I was hoping that this critter would somehow go in there. And it looks like it will. Maybe I'll mess with this a little bit more at uh at home. peeking out. It's already warm enough. My goodness, it's so warm out here. Throw on my jacket. Listed as $100 on sale for $65. Extra sport. I don't know. We're going to see. on this you know we're coming over here yeah we're just gonna go ahead right down in there all right let's see how sturdy she is I think I might lower the seat. Creek. It is like so warm out here. I'm sweating. Well, it could be from paddling. <laughs> so this thing is um pretty dang stable. I lowered the seat just because the upper position was just I wasn't comfortable with it yet. 
once I get some more time on this, I'll probably raise it up, but I don't know. My fish finder's working. Wind's blowing, blowing me around. I think I'm gonna see how far I can get down here and see what it looks like. Hopefully, uh, don't get too rough on me. I should be all right. This is nothing. All right. Well, here comes the rain. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Wind's picked up. I get a little, a little wet. that wind was coming down I was waiting for the rain to just start dumping on me and I'll be darned if I didn't get up on that ramp and it all broke loose You can get wet. I'm gonna go stand up here. Cause it's blowing sideways. Oh really? And make me got pay. So at this point, I decided to call it a day. Figured I'd finish packing up, take the walk home, and head out the next day. Fish on. Yeah. Come on up, baby. That's it.
Oh, no, 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 Had I known what that osprey was chirping to me in the background, telling me to turn my camera down a little bit, point it downwards, we would have had a little bit better footage. That's all right, living and learning. Oh man. Yeah, nice little schoolie. Nice little schoolie. Let's see. He is. Uh, he's about. What is that? It's at this point that I realize I cannot tell how long he is because. I can't see the ruler on my center console. I'm gonna have to paint that white so I can see it better next time. 18 inches. Yeah, a little preseason. Woo! All right. Let's get you back in. There you go. Yeah, first fish. Love it. That was on the troll. Ah. See if anything else is interested. Tower. That's where I was headed. That little guy decided he was hungry. So I paddled around for a little bit longer, about another hour. The wind picked up from the east pushed me back on the shore, so I just went with it. Figured I'd call it a day, until next time. Mm -hmm.